Meet Kevin Harrington. With over 500 products launched and generating $5 billion in product sales in over 100 countries, Kevin Harrington is the inventor of the infomercial, as seen on TV Pioneer and Original Shark on the Emmy Award-winning TV show Shark Tank. Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington is an exclusive television showcase featuring one of the world's most successful entrepreneurs getting to know business owners from across the nation. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, and thanks for watching Get Down to Business. Do you want to take your financial situation to the next level? On today's episode, we're bringing you financial insight and resources that can help viewers at home, both personally and professionally. Learn some of the secrets on creative business funding or all about angel employment and don't miss our Authors to Watch segment. I hope you enjoy the show. Now, it's time to get down to business with Kevin Harrington. Please welcome Sunshine Chapman, the founder and president of ERC Provider. Her company helps small business owners claim their maximum employee retention credits. Now, ERC Provider has grown from a one-woman show to over 25 team members in just one year with an eight-figure revenue and thousands of companies served. And I just want to say welcome, first of all. Thank you. Thank you. And how did you start ERC Provider? Tell me about it. So my husband was really sick with long COVID. He wasn't getting any better after months and months. So he wasn't, he couldn't walk. He was, you know, sick all the time. And we finally found out about hyperbaric therapy that that would actually help a lot. So did it in Orlando, and then we were in Utah looking for a place, and we found a guy who actually had one in his garage. Oh, wow. So he allowed my husband to use it a few times. He started feeling better, and I decided to invite those people over to our house to thank them because he, you know, they fixed my husband. <laughs> that was pretty great. <laughs> nice. So um, at the end of dinner, we had a great time and I said, you know, how did, you know, what do you do for a living? And he told me that he has a company's CEO that they process employee retention credits. And I'd kind of heard of it because I own a marketing agency that works with um, hotels and finance companies and right. tech companies. So I was like, I think I know what that is. And as he told me more about it, I said, I think I know exactly how to market this thing. So what exactly is ERC? Okay. So the Employee yeah. Retention Credit was part of the CARES Act and it was started during COVID along with the IDLE and the PPP. Both of those are over. You can't get them anymore. But for this, you have until April 2025 still to claim it. Okay. So it's based on wages paid. It's based on payroll. So it's a refundable payroll tax credit. So the government has set aside billions of dollars mm -hmm. to, to give to, to companies that have, have, have employed people during COVID and post-COVID uh, during a certain period of time. Exactly. Because right. so many of these people we talked to have been like paying on credit cards to be, survive. Just to, you know, they didn't want to let their people go. They wanted to keep their good people. And now they're in trouble and they need help. So this is something that has been able to help a lot of people. And so over 80% of companies can qualify, but only... Uh, about 30% even know about it. So how does a company qualify? First, you have to have W-2 employees. W-2 so, employees. Yeah, not to 99s, and they have to be unrelated to the owner. This could be a small business. Yeah. Restaurant owners, flower shops, manufacturing, yes. you know, across all spectrum. Anywhere between one and 500 employees, full-time W-2. And then they have to have some kind of impact from COVID. So the original form of this was revenue reduction. So you had to have had a pretty massive revenue reduction compared to 2019. Right. But nobody was claiming it, um, and they realized that it wasn't going to be enough. So they expend, expanded it a year ago. And now there's two other ways to qualify. And the first is supply chain disruption. Okay. So this is one a lot of people don't know about. But you hear about it all the time, right? Sure. Due to the supply chain disruption, we don't have any toilet paper. Exactly. Like right. Yeah. It could be a restaurant, couldn't get beef. It could be a, a construction firm couldn't get windows um, we couldn't get containers okay. for things right uh, pretty much everyone I've talked to has had something like that some kind of problem yeah. like that right so if it had a pretty big impact that would work so it's easy to qualify and what and there's others doing what you do but I know you have a very special team of people and 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 what makes you different or better than the others that are out there we've grown from zero to an eight-figure business at one year because we are laser focused on one thing and personally connecting with business owners and helping them determine and understand how they can qualify for this. Um, I'm a former professor and I, I really want to focus on education. So I go and speak at conferences with CPAs and business owners to help them understand this and explain it so that we want everyone who does it to really get what they're doing. And also we have personal connection for everyone. So a lot of other people just send out forms and have you fill it out, but it's confusing. Yep. Right. So we actually um, have a personal employee that's assigned to each one, right. each business owner, and they walk them through 
through this. You mentioned one year, eight figures. What's your mission for year two? Well, we are really passionate about serving underserved communities. So this year I went to Inglewood, California, and their Economic De Development Commission asked me to go and speak, and uh, we signed up just a ton of people who had no idea about this. We also have a Spanish-speaking division for people who don't want to do it in English. And then the next year we're really expanding into Puerto Rico because it's not been, a lot of people there have not done it. And if everyone there got it that is eligible, they would get over a trillion dollars. Wow. So I really want that in the hand of those business owners. So if you're a small or large business owner with under 500 W-2 employees, whether you're in hospitality, medical, construction, transportation, or retail, don't hesitate. You could be missing out on hundreds of thousands in employee retention credit dollars for your business. This program is for a limited time only, so visit ercprovider.com forward slash TV now to take advantage of this funding opportunity. Thank you. You're watching Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington. Kevin is a product marketing mogul, inventor of the infomercial, world-renowned speaker, and best-selling author who's sharing his insight with entrepreneurs. Stay tuned to learn about more great product ideas, innovative businesses, and unique services as we dive deep with an original shark from ABC's Shark Tank, Kevin Harrington. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, original shark from Shark Tank. I'd like to welcome Brian Scortino, CEO of SCORE Capital. SCORE Capital's mission is to connect small business owners with the financial programs that will help accelerate their growth and ROI. So Brian, I know you've got a lot of programs available to many business owners out there. Let's talk about some of the programs that are available for small businesses and medium and even big businesses, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So I'd always recommend if you know if you can qualify uh, a large sum credit line program, maybe up to a million dollars. A now. credit line, right? A credit line. Obviously, every business wants it. Uh, Pre-COVID, a lot of businesses didn't lock it in. It would have been good to have, and then credit lines became um, very difficult to you know get a, get an approval for. Because sometimes the best time to get capital is before you're desperate for capital. Exactly. Right? So, they always say so. you don't want to go looking for a credit line or a loan when you need money. When right. your numbers are good is when you should lock it in because you're going to have the best approval, best rates, best terms. And then also the credit line, you don't have to add debt to your balance sheet immediately. You know, it's there in case for contingency reserve, in case a large purchase comes up. Um, and then you can delve into it when need be. Right. You can get credit lines. You also do SBA loans uh, type of thing, right? I mean, there's, right. so you, there's various programs. There's no just like one cookie cutter situation. You, you take each company, look at their sales, their assets, where they are, and then based on that, determine where is the best place to, to take those clients. Exactly. We have a network of over, you know, 40 different lenders and different types of programs um, that we could connect business owners to. So um, basically we'll take financials and an application and uh, obviously speak with the business owner and see right. what they're looking to do. We could do asset backed, we could do unsecured credit lines, SBA. We have, a, uh, we have access to you know, a plethora of different programs depending what the business needs and what they can qualify for. Why should somebody consider you versus going direct to the lender? It's a great question. If you go direct, you might get pigeonholed into a program. So with a broker, it gives you the flexibility. And I always like to have options, and I think business owners should always have options on the table. Ultimately, you'll end up getting the, be the better deal for your business. Certain lenders, they specialize, they, they, they have certain niches that, that they like, and so um, they may not have any interest in a client that you're representing, but you know that, so you're not going to waste the time there. You're, you have the ability to go to dozens of different lenders and you knowing which one might be, which ones might be the best ones to talk to. So having that experience for all these years is, is invaluable to many of these business owners because you can kind of target the best ones right off the bat, right? Correct. Yeah, super. So give the folks out there an example of what opportunities are, are available. Definitely. We've helped, um, you know, hundreds of businesses, but a uh, recent one, we took a uh, mom and pop restaurant, you know, one location. Um, we helped them get a uh, construction loan for their second location. And then we also got them a credit line to help expand. Now they have multiple locations in two different states. Oh, wow. And um, they're growing rapidly. And uh, that probably, that was just in the last year or so. And, well, year how and much half. did they get capital for? How much capital? Overall, in the last like year and a half, it's been well over 500K between oh, wow. different types of programs with the construction, credit Fantastic. line, and everything like that. And we're looking to get 
um, a large sum, you know, SBA type deal through one of our partners. Great. Last question. Why should people consider Score Capital? People should consider Score Capital because you're going to get the best option available. You're going to talk with someone with a long career in this industry, knowing what they're talking about. And I believe that it'll help your business, um, you know, get to the next level and get to where you need to be. Your demand. I appreciate it, Brian. You heard it here. If you're a small business owner, call 551-427-9466 for a free consultation to see what financial programs you qualify for. You may be missing out, so don't wait. Contact Score Capital today. You're watching Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington. Kevin is a product marketing mogul, inventor of the infomercial, world-renowned speaker, and best-selling author who's sharing his insight with entrepreneurs. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, an original shark from Shark Tank, and I'm excited to feature another incredible author in our Authors to Watch segment of Get Down to Business. So please welcome Christopher Massiello, who's not just a writer, but also an entrepreneur, a speaker, and empowerment leader. Chris has recently published an Amazon best-selling book called Change, Short and Simple, and it's available on Amazon, barnesandnoble.com, and other major booksellers. And in this wise and action-oriented book, Chris Massiello presents an array of strategies to shift your perspective on how to address accept and leverage change. And readers will find practical insights on the relationship between change and the human psyche, step-based guides on how we affect change and vice versa, and the instruction to put ideas into practice. And I actually wrote the foreword for Chris's book. It's great to see you again. How you been? Excellent, Kevin. All right. Yeah, thanks so, for having me. What is change and why does everybody want to hear about this? Well, you know, it's the one thing we all have in common. And, yeah. and we, we actually don't ever really progress in life or, or through any other aspects of life without change. But yet it's one of the things that uh, in the human condition that we resist the most. Why is that? We've been naturally programmed over thousands of years to scan for threats first, opportunity second. Right. But now we're in an environment where, where we actually can scan for opportunities first and threats second. And, and so we all kind of come by it naturally. So you really have to kind of think through um, the process of really taming, taming your mind right, and being able to uh, rationalize and work your way through, uh, you know, how, how, can I, how can I leverage whatever change is in front of me right. and use it to my advantage. So, you know, what ends up happening is that people will spend uh, a disproportionate amount of their energy resisting change mm -hmm. and only a fractional amount of their energy, you know, leaning into it and trying to figure out where the opportunity right. is. For those that are out there, the readers, um, how can you help them um, embrace change. A lot of it is really um, very practical, easy to understand strategies, right? Uh, so that you can self-coach right. your way. There you go through uh, through whatever changes that are being presented. And yeah. you know, one of the one of the things that I was taught years ago is that um, nothing is either good or bad until you label it. Right. Right. Yeah. There you go. And so it's a matter of understanding what are the labels, right? Yeah. Right. So change really in of itself is all opportunity. Yeah. And and so the the, the book really allows the reader to uh, self-identify with strategies that he or she may find uh, useful for them, yeah. and then and then uh, steps how to deploy them. Can you think of somebody that maybe took your strategies and, um, and used it to have? you know, a benefit from something they were fighting that change and they used your strategies to overcome that and now are, are better off because of it. My position, I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching. Right. And, and so a lot of these strategies uh, and uh, concepts were really developed about what I got to learn with working with other people. And so, yeah, there are a lot of instances where, where in, in, in just talking with people about, you know, what's their situation, how are they doing, you know, what are the challenges they're having, you know, we, we were able to come up with uh, strategies that, that some of them go back 20 or 30 years. And, and now that they've, they've, you know, we've brought them forward into the book. Well, fantastic. So it's, it's great having you here, and, and I'm, I'm glad uh, to be involved with you in previous uh, encounters and books. And I uh, just want to say for those that are out there, if change doesn't stop, we can at least plan for it. And using Masiello's astute teachings in change, short and simple. So if you find yourself making excuses for why you're not where you want to be in life, or you're resisting change, or you want to learn how to leverage change to benefit your future, grab a copy of Change, Short and Simple, right now, and visit 
Change short and simple.com or your favorite online bookstore. Thank you so much. And Chris, great having you here. Same here, Kevin. Thanks. Take care. Thank you. You're watching Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington. Kevin is a product marketing mogul, inventor of the infomercial, world-renowned speaker, and best-selling author who's sharing his insight with entrepreneurs as we dive deep with an original shark from ABC's Shark Tank, Kevin Harrington. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, an original shark from Shark Tank. On Get Down to Business, we're proud to feature writers and creators as well as entrepreneurs. Please meet a man who is all three on this Authors to Watch segment. Now, I'd like to introduce Ocean Eagle, an inspirational speaker, mentor, and coach to corporate leaders and a number one best-selling co-author of Cracking the Rich Code, Volume 2, which I was also a co-writer of. And I also endorsed Ocean's Amazon best-selling book, The Gift of Inspirations, which was recently published with Mindster Media. Now, Ocean Eagle is also the founder of Activation Breathwork, as well as a facilitator of powerful, life-changing retreats and workshops in Arizona and beyond. Ocean, welcome, buddy. Good to have Thank you here. Thank you, Kevin. It's Man, great to be here. Thank I said you. a mouthful already, but <laughs> um, books, mentorship, yeah. speaking, retreats, workshops, mm. activation, breath work. Yeah. With all that going on, what's right at the top of the list for you right now? Well, you know, three and a half years ago, I had a massive spiritual awakening um, that I had a voice start talking to me to tell me that I have a mission. I have a, I have a job to do here now. I wasn't an author before that. I wasn't a writer. My focus and my mission is to help balance out the masculine, feminine energy on the planet right now and bring people back into their hearts. Because yeah. so many people are lost and stuck and trapped in the illusion that their, their government's given them, their family of origin, their, right. their, 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 their religion, I mean, all this stuff that's just fed them this story that's trapped and stuck in the program mind. Right. I get them through the mind into the heart. When you work with people, yeah. You're transforming them. Right? Right. I, I have a term, magical transformation, mm -hmm. which means a great before and after. What kind of changes have you seen with some of those folks you work with? I don't take the credit. Um, I guide them and give them a container, an opportunity to heal themselves. The transformations that I've seen are, are insane. I have so many testimonials of physical healings, blood, high blood pressure being removed in a, in a weekend, going home and losing 10 pounds in nine days, chronic body pain for 40 years, gone in a weekend. Um, so the physical transformations is measurable right now. But the way they've changed their lives, the way they see life mm -hmm. in a different way, the way they uh, uh, are, have a better relationship with their children, with yeah. their wives, their, their husbands, they give me all these testimonials of that they're so grateful. Mm -hmm. And they're all sending me so many messages right now, even being on this, saying that they love me and they're here with me. And we're all doing this together, just trying to heal one heart at a time. You have such inspiration uh, and I can feel it. Yeah. Where does it come from and, and or do you tap into some other source of assistance here? We're born powerful and then it's stripped away from us in our story. I right. came from a childhood of massive abuse, abandonment, neglect, trauma. I saw things a kid shouldn't see. Right. I was an alcoholic. Mm, um, I got yeah. sober 23 years ago. Yeah. I've alchemized my, my suffering. My debts are now my assets. So I've alchemized all of my old story into my truth and my power, and I push that from my heart center. And it sends out a frequency and a vibration that starts bringing everybody and everything to me now that are supposed to work with me. Yeah. I'm not four or 7.5 billion people, but there's, there's a number of them I'm supposed to touch. Well, you've been doing this for years. 2023 is coming up. Yeah. Do you have a plan for, for next year? Activation Breathwork, big events in Phoenix. Um, San Diego and Los Angeles in late January, early February, 200 plus events with Activation Breathwork. I've got six books that are going to come out with Mindster Media next year. Nice. I've Fantastic. got one coming now and I've got five more already written. They're already done right yeah. behind them. I'm ready to launch them. Fantastic. So I've Ocean got a lot. Eagle, you are awesome. You're amazing. Thank Folks you. that are out there, you can stay up to date with everything Ocean is up to by entering your email at OceanEagle.org. Find his books on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Mindster Media website, and follow his public figure page, Ocean Eagle, on Facebook. Thanks for being here. Great Blessings. Thank you so much. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington. Kevin is a product marketing mogul, inventor of the infomercial, world-renowned speaker, and best-selling author who's sharing his insight with entrepreneurs as we dive deep with an original shark from ABC's Shark Tank, Kevin Harrington. Hi there.
I'm Kevin Harrington. I'm an original shark from the hit television show Shark Tank. And I'd like to welcome our viewers today to our virtual interview segment featuring the CEO of a company that I've worked with many times. Uh, please welcome J.J. Hebert of Mindster Media. Uh, J.J. is a USA Today and Wall Street Journal bestselling author, as well as the CEO of Mindster Media, uh, his award-winning book publishing company. And J.J. has published over a thousand books through Mindster Media, many of which are bestsellers and award winners and International Business Time, Times called J.J. the entrepreneur to watch. And they, they also praise Mindster as the best book publisher in Los Angeles. And J.J. also writes for Forbes magazine, Entrepreneur magazine, uh, where he shares book publishing and marketing tips. And J.J., I just want to say thanks for, for being here. Happy to have you and welcome. Thanks for having me, Kevin. I appreciate it. Fantastic. So we got a lot of good questions, and it's it's, it's been awesome working with you over the years. Um, and and I mean, a thousand books—that's that's pretty impressive, right? It's been and, quite a journey, yeah. Yeah. And so um, I've endorsed many of the books for for some of the authors that you've put together. Um, and you and I are are have a, a business anthology that we're coming out with right now, but. Um, and, and we've worked together for many years, but for, for the viewers that don't know much about yourself and or Mindster, tell us, why should they publish with Mindster Media? I think one of the biggest benefits of publishing with Mindster Media is the fact that the author keeps all of his or her rights. Um, and that's something that really sets us apart from a lot of the other publishers. Um, usually with traditional publishing, for instance, you'll, they're basically buying the rights to your book. So that means they can pretty much do whatever they want to the book. And that can be kind of disheartening for the author. The other thing that really sets us apart is we offer royalties up to 100%, which is industry leading. Um, so you'll be able to, um, hopefully recoup your investment a lot faster than you would with another program. Yeah. And, and owning your content is, is, is a, a pretty big thing in many ways, because mm -hmm. I know one of my books, um, I, I ended up, you know, people that wanted, you know, like um, mass copies of it kind of thing. The, the publisher held a big, you know, dollars over my head in terms of how much they needed to get per book. And, and, and many times they made deals impossible for me to do. So, uh, so that's, that's, that's an important thing. And I, and I know you, you give good advice for folks to do that. So, and speaking of advice, uh, you know, so many mistakes that that uh, that people make when they're publishing. What what are some of the common publishing mistakes to avoid? I think a lot of authors, especially new authors, they underestimate the power of a good book cover. Um, the book cover is basically your number one marketing tool early on, so it needs to be eye catching and professional. You can't just slap it together in some amateurish cover and expect it to sell. Um, and then the editing process is also incredibly important. Believe it or not, a lot of the self-published authors, they just bypass that process altogether. And that's, that's the real negative experience for the consumer or the reader. So you want to make sure yeah. that you align yourself with a professional editor as well. Gotcha. And, and of course, you know, as we, as we both know, JJ, writing a book is so powerful in helping you build a brand. I mean, for me, um, my first book came out and, and little did I know that, uh, somebody like Mark Burnett from Shark Tank was was out there uh, watching me promote it and 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 actually got in touch with me. So you just you never know who's out there at the right time. So um, writing a book is powerful. And 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 just for my last question, we're trying to wrap wrap a really tight, uh, powerful interview up here. Um, one piece of writing advice to our audience: um, if you have one piece of advice, what would it be? You need to outline before you write. So before you write that first draft, sit down and write a chapter by chapter outline. Um, you know, chapter one, you know, what are you trying to accomplish here? Chapter two, what are you what, what are you trying to accomplish there? And just keep going up until uh, you know the end of the end of the story. So the chapter by chapter outline is really important. It'll keep your writing tight and it'll help you avoid writer's block. Fantastic. I, I love that. Thank you for, for being with us. Uh, JJ, and as always, especially for any entrepreneurs out there, publishing is a key step in growing your brand and making yourself stand out. So if you're thinking about writing a book or you've written a book and you want to work with a trusted industry leading publishing company, then 
I'm going to recommend you go to Mindster Media and you can visit them at MindsterMedia.com and you can sign up there for a free consultation. Thanks for being with us, JJ. It's always a pleasure working with you. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Take care. You're watching Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington. With me today is Jason Wood, founder and CEO of Specificity, a public company that is hyper-focused in the digital marketing world. Jason, hey, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. I want to know about the hyper-focused activities of specificity and how that works. Yeah, so in specificity, we have almost a marketing ideology behind what we do. We believe very much in ROI and quantifiable ROI. Return on investment. Absolutely. Right? So if you're spending money, you want to get a return yeah, on that spend, absolutely. right? The ad agency model is designed to get companies to spend as m- much money right. driving as many impressions as they can get because they base their, their entire revenue model on what's called the cost per thousand impression model. Gotcha. We don't, we track conversions. We build out very granularly targeted audiences of what we consider to be high likely conversions for them. Oh, so gotcha. we're not shotgunning you know, messaging and graphics and videos out, out into the universe in hopes that the right buyer comes along. Instead, we identify the right buyers and then put that marketing or that messaging in front of them and drive the conversion. So the future is a public company, specificity that has a whole unique new approach to uh, to conversions, getting new customers. And I think we can say, if you've tried Facebook and Instagram and the rest, it's now time to try specificity because I have already learned the hard way that some of the old ways are not working anymore. And this is how we got introduced. Specificity is now our choice of using uh, of you for product launches also. We appreciate it. Thank you for being here today. If you have an interesting business, innovative product, or a unique service to sell, you could be featured as the next guest on Get Down to Business with Kevin Harrington. This once-in-a-lifetime opportunity will allow you to get to know an original shark from Shark Tank and showcase your company on national television, broadcast to over 80 million households in all 50 states. Sit down with Kevin Harrington, one of the world's most successful entrepreneurs and his team of experts in a mastermind session or one-on-one meeting to discuss your marketing strategy. Then produce your interview segment in Kevin's state-of-the-art television production studio with his award-winning crew. Go online now to kevinharringtontv.com and reserve your featured broadcast segment today.